Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this story of fire and ice. The sun spits out fire, asterisk, which could lead to ice, asterisk, asterisk. I'm making this video to let you guys know that when the sun freaks out, earth weather freaks out, and then people freak out. It's true. Hey, guess what? The sun is freaking out. The king of the north! Last best hope against the coming storm. If we don't put aside our enmities and band together, we will die. And then it doesn't matter whose skeleton sits on the Iron Throne. The Great War is here. The sun is freaking out. And not only that, there's a giant sunspot called AR2665, which is extremely active in this quote unquote solar minimum, LOL what? And in mere minutes, it will be earth facing. So I would say expect wild weird weather for at least another week. You can see there should be no debate about whether or not the sunspot is active. And so as she rolls our way, you know, it's gonna be cray cray. Based off my solar physics, Theories expect the weird to get weirder. Sweet solar physics up in your face. We need to be prepared. You know, sometimes when I make a video, I'm like, who do you think would watch this? What do you got for me? An update. Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's your heads up. Eyes to the skies. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor news science upon you. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Already dance time. This is a Thor news presentation. Thor News presents. I call them X Class Fairs if they make the X. And this one made the X. This is an official Thor News solar video. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're looking at giant sunspot AR26665. And look how dark the dark area around the sunspot is. Pretty ominous, weird, strange, wouldn't you say? Yeah, so that's what we got coming around. Look at that thing. Yep, that is an active sunspot. However, you want to slice that bread, the bread is active. That's wild. Super wild. A lot of energy. Yeah, wow. Click, click, pow. Look at these spots. Those are not sunspots. Those are just spots on the sun. Here's our sunspot rolling around. That's pretty big. I'll put a size comparison thing in so you guys get an idea how big this baby is. She's big. She's giant. Ginormous. I'd say you could probably fit about 8 to 12 Earths in her. Watch her roll around and grow. It's almost like she's growing a little planet inside of her. That's my guess. The star crits, planets, and other stars. It's way cooler than your Crescian disk model. I'm Thor, man. I'm Star-Lord, new Thor 7. So, that's how we roll. And so, you can see she's popping off. She's going crazy. See, on this one, it shows, like, the little lightning. And the first lightning you saw was the X-Class solar flare. The SDO satellite is right outside of Earth's orbit. So, when it's facing the camera, that means it's facing us in mere minutes. By the time this thing, this video comes out, the sunspot will be facing us party people and look at how she's been spazzing going crazy ah uh, it's so doomy it's kind of romantic boom click click electric dearly beloved we're gathered here today to celebrate this thing called life yeah that is an active sunspot i can feel it charging my particles i want to get back in a solar groove though it seems a bit much for y'all to handle now now see look at those filaments man those things are giant ginormous massive so yeah crazy days indeed my friends super crazy days indeed Anywho, we're talking about the sun. Okay, so over here we got the solar gremlins. There you go. You get a good shot of our X over there. But see all those solar gremlins right there? Looks like tatted shoelaces. You can call it whatever you want. I forget what science actually calls them. We got them all over the place. We got them there. Ragged filaments. They're doing their dance, man. They love to dance. That's how you know they're alive. And to me, the sun is alive. It's not just some light bulb that's up in the sky producing the exact 30 watts of electrical light you know sun is a, a real life creature with feelings and sure gets sick of us whining and complaining and fighting all the time i ain't go more into that but you guys think i'm extra crazy you should talk to the sun sun will talk to you sun is the most powerful thing in our universe outside of god so i think it's wise and look at the the big proton flash charged particles the x-class flare i imagine it's only glancing but we'll find out now won't we 
So when it gets to about right here, it will be Earth facing on Earth's elliptical plane. So we're probably about six hours away. So I'll probably do another one of these soon, which is great. The sun's fantastic, magnificent. And if you watch her with your naked eye, eyeballs, she's definitely been acting different every day. The X class solar flare almost looked like it kicked some stuff to the side. I'll uh, have to check on the auroras a bit later. If I mentioned, I can't wait for Hurricane Katia. Oh, this is what they do. This is what you can do. This is what your future could be. Ah, it really was one crazy summer. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes and coronally mass ejects. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes and coronally mass ejects. Oh, there are some jokes I could make there, but I won't because I'm a total gentleman. Except for the times I'm being extremely juvenile. And I still think I'm being a gentleman. I'm just trying to get people to laugh.